once again to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be alive today and it's such a wonderful day to shoot a great video so i thought why not so anyway let me just dive into the tutorial today's tutorial is going to be about sewing our ankara kimono jacket now the kimono jacket has gradually become a fashion trend and since 2018 i've been seeing lots of different designs and different modifications of it on social media so i thought hey why not show my followers how to make this simple fashion item so therefore if you are interested in knowing how to make the kimono jacket you can use ankara material or any other fabric you have so if you are interested please keep on watching this video we are going to need a couple of measurements to sew this jacket the first measurement i'm going to need is my full length measurement now I want the jacket to be a bit long, but not too long, just above my knee. So I'll just measure that and I'll use like um, 36 inches as the full length measurement. Then you also need your shoulder measurement. To measure your shoulder, you just pass the measuring tape across your shoulder to the end of your shoulder and my shoulder is 16. Then you also need your full bust measurement. Your full bust, you just put the shoulder across again, and my full bust is 40 inches. You also need my waist measurement. My waist measurement, just where my belly button is, is um, 37 inches. Then my hip measurement is 44 inches that is the full part of your hips then after taking this measurement you also need to measure the distance between your shoulder and your full bust mine is 11 inches the distance between your full bust and your waist that is um, 11 plus 8 inches sorry plus um seven inches that is about 18 or 19 inches then from my waist to the end of my full length so those are the measurements we need to be able to plot on the material to help us come up with our kimono jacket okay, so the first step i am just going to lay my fabric my ankara fabric um, flat on my table then um i am just going to cut this material um, the fabric into two actually i have used this to sew an outfit before so this was just the remaining um remaining pa um, part of the fabric and it was cut in a funny way anyway so now i just have to modify it properly so anyway i folded this into two and i'm just going to cut i'm just going to cut um the fabric into two because i want to um plot the the front the front of the kimono so i don't need to cut on the fold so i'm just going to cut it into two equal halves like this and i'm just going to go ahead and plot my measurements on it now i am using the wrong side of the fabric so i will not um maybe stain it with marks from my chalk or whatever so the first measurement i am going to take is the full length measurement the full length measurement for my kimono is going to be 40 inches because i want it to be um long so i am just going to measure from the beginning of the fabric all the way down to 40 40 inches I don't know if you can see it all the way to 40 and I'm just going to mark that 40 but I'm just going to mark the 40 inches the 40 inch point with my tailor's chalk and then after my my full measurement I'm going to measure my shoulder my shoulder is 16 inches i'm going to divide 16 inches by two to give me eight inches so i'm going to mark eight inches at the top of the fabric 
I'm going to measure and mark 8 inches. Eight inches. So this is my eight inch point. I hope you can see it. I hope it's visible enough. So this is my eight inch point. After marking the eight inches, the next measurement I'm going to take is my neckline. Now my neck width or my neckline, I've decided to use 4.5 inches. So I'm just going to mark 4.5. I hope it's visible enough 4.5 is my chalk so now I have marked 4.5 inches then I'm going to also mark my neck depth now because um, this is my front I'm just going to mark um, 4.5 as well so I'm just going to measure 4.5 and mark it as my neck depth then after marking 4.5 as my neck depth, I'm going to use my curve to just join those two points together. So now I have joined the two points together. Next thing I'm going to do is to measure my shoulder slope. Remember my shoulder, I have measured 8 inches for my shoulder. Now from that 8 inch point, I'm just going to measure downwards 1 inch and mark that point. Mark the 1 inch point. Now I'm going to take my ruler and join the point where my neck, um, where my neck width stopped to the point where the 1 inch stopped. So... Have a mark this. This is now my shoulder slope. So after my shoulder slope, I am going to mark my armhole. But to mark my armhole, I'm just going to measure eight inches. I'm going to measure, sorry, I'm going to measure 11 inches downwards. 11 inch is where my full bust measurement should be. So I'm just going to mark that point, 11 inches downwards i hope you can see it anyway this is not very visible but i'm just going to okay i'll use a pen since this is the wrong side so this point here is my 11 inch point so i'm going to use a ruler to draw a straight line to show my full bust measurement my full bust measurement point then i'm also going to use my tape to measure 8 inches downwards from my shoulder slope okay so i'll just measure 8 inches downwards from my shoulder slope this 8 inch downwards is actually where my upper bust measurement is supposed to be but i want to use this measurement to plot my armhole so that is why i'm actually marking it so i'm also going to use a ruler to draw a straight line to show this um this is my upper bust measurement so i'm now going to use a ruler also to join my shoulder that eight inch point i'm just going to use a ruler to draw downwards to join the shoulder to the upper bust measurement so basically my armhole is beginning to take shape so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to use my um measuring tape to measure one inch upwards from my upper bust um, measurement upwards to the line of my um, armhole i'm just going to measure one inch and mark it i hope it's clear enough so that you can see it so after marking that one inch i'm just going to use your curve and try to join that um, measurement Try to join the point, the one inch point, to um, the upper bust measurement. So I'm just going to use my curve to try and join that point. So you see, I'm going to freehand also. So you see, basically, I have already plotted out my um, my armhole 
measurement. I hope it's visible enough. So anyways, after my armhole measurement, the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure out my full bust measurement, my waist, and the rest. So my full bust measurement is 10.2 inches. That is after you divide by four, whatever measurement you get, you divide it by four, and then you plot what you have divided by four. So after dividing by four, my full bust measurement is 10.2 inches. So I'll just mark 10.2 inches i hope it is clear enough uh, i'll use my pen okay so this point is 10.2 inch point then after that for where i'm going to plot my waist measurement you know i also measured from my shoulder to my waist and from my shoulder to my waist is um 19 inches so just use i'll just use my tape to measure my shoulder to my waist I'll mark that 19 inch point so that you can see it more clearly this is the 19 inch point so I'm just going to use a ruler to draw a straight line also to make this more visible I'm just going to use a ruler to make the 19 inch point more visible. I hope you can see this clearly. I have to move this material up and down so that you can see. Anyway, so this is where my waist measurement is going to be plotted. Now my waist is 37, right? My waist is, my waist is 35 inches. When you divide it by four, you get 8.7 inches. So I'm just going to put down 8.7 inches 8.7 inches 8.5 8.7 8 inches and i'm going to mark that point then the next point i am going to um okay after marking my waist the next point i'm going to measure is my hip now from my shoulder to my hip, from my shoulder to my hip is about 24 inches. So I'm also going to measure from my shoulder to my hip, 24 inches. And then I'm going to place my full hip measurement there. So I'll just use my, um, my chalk to mark 24 inches and then use my ruler to also draw a straight line use my ruler to draw a straight line there to indicate the point where i'm going to plot the measurement then i am going to measure my hip measurement my hip measurement is 44 divided by 4 is 11 so i'm going to plot 11 inches as well on the line for my hip measurement 11 inches okay so basically um, those are all the measurements that you need to take so when I'm cutting I'm going to cut um, and leave about one inch sorry I'm going to leave about two inches for uh, my ease margin that is, um, it's also called allowance anyways. So I'm just going to leave um, about, about, about one or two inches. I don't want it to be too much, so I will just leave um, one inch anyways. So you just add one inch to the measurement you've made for your ease margin so that you can fold the material and so so I'm just going to add one inch to all the measurements I've made previously. Okay, so after adding the one inch for my ease margin, what I'm just going to do now is to take my ruler or whatever and um, join my measurement. So. So 
I'm just joining the points. I can make. I'm just using um, straight, straight lines. But when you cut the the fabric, obviously it's going to be a bit curved in a way. So, so this is like my basic body. Basically, that's what I've done here. So I have joined the upper part. Now for the lower part, I'm just going to use uh, just make it straight or just a bit, you know, with freehand, just just draw straight down. I'm just going to draw straight down to the full length point where I want the jacket to end. It's going to join that part as well. So basically, if you uh, if you can see what I have done, I have drawn like a bodice. And I have extended the bodice a bit downwards so that um, it can be a longer jacket form. Now that I have plotted my whole measurement on the fabric, I am just going to um, use my scissors to cut out what I have drawn. Make sure you cut out exactly on the lines so that you can have a well, maybe not a perfect outfit but something close to perfect. Okay, so I am done cutting out this part and this is now going to be the front of my kimono jacket. So I'll just go ahead and cut the back also. My back, I have folded the um, fabric I'm going to use for the back into two and I'm just simply going to place the front pattern that I had already cut out before on the fabric that I am using for the back pattern and then i'll just simply cut it out so there's no need to start plotting again but i'm going to adjust this a bit because um i want the back the neck at the back to be a bit higher so where i have my where i have my neck measurement that is my neck depth I'm just simply going to measure I'm just simply going to me measure two inches upwards from the point where the neck depth um, stops before I'm just going to measure two inches upwards and mark that point. I'm also going to mark the point where my neck width stops. That's the one I had measured previously. I'm just going to mark the point again. Like I'm going to trace it from the so I'm just going to mark it. Make sure it's clear enough. Then I'm going to use my curve to join the two points together. So this is basically my neck for the back. Then I'm just going to um, mark the other points. That's the shoulder. Just going to mark that out. The shoulder slope. Then when I come to my armhole for the back, I'm just simply also going to measure from the point where the um, the point where both um, the upper bust and the shoulder armhole measurement joints, I will just measure from that point. I will measure one inch upwards, also or one inch outwards. I 
and then try to connect that point to the end of my this So I'll just try to also draw it to make my armhole. So this is basically the back, my back armhole. Alright, so then after that, I'm just going to trace the other points. Basically just trace the, uh, the whole pattern I'm just going to trace the whole pattern you don't have to be so sewing is mostly freehand so I'm just going to trace the whole material with my free hand so that I can cut with my scissors so as you can see I've traced if I trace to the end so I have successfully duplicated the front with a little bit of adjustment. So I'll just use my scissors to cut out the pattern as well. Just use my scissors, go ahead and cut the neck, shoulder. Um, hold. Right, so I have finished cutting my back and if I open it up you will see um, how it looks like because it was cut on a fold. So I'll just go ahead and join my front to my back. I have arranged my um, patterns in the way I'm going to join it. So this is just to give you an idea of what this jacket is going to look like by the time I am done assembling it together. Uh, so I'll just join both shoulders. Then I'm going to join uh, the sides and this side then I will um, add um, finishing to it but this is the basic idea this is basically what your kimono jacket will look like all right guys thank you for watching this tutorial and if you found this tutorial helpful in any way please don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time stay safe bye